I like old buildings, you know, I like um, to kind of get the feel of what they would maybe try and get the feel of what they would have been like when people actually lived in them. I really didn't know what to expect. I just thought it would be interesting to do a project focusing on the castle and the architecture and then just to see what happened from there. I'm just open to whatever I want to learn on this course. I found it very interesting and I found that it was the sort of project that anyone could, could do. Um, and you could make it as your own as much as you wanted to, or um, just use the castle itself as an inspiration and go from there, or um, just maybe take something that was already there and go with it. So it was very easy for anybody to take it on. They gave us that um, option, you know, deciding for ourselves. You know, they, did, they gave us a few hints and that, but we nearly all decided what we wanted to do, do ourselves. Um, we just used photographs that they had taken around the castle and we started doing cut work and, and uh, mono prints based on uh, plaster work and details we saw in the castle. A lot of people who came thinking they couldn't do anything artistic have been inspired to um, even bring things home and work on them and do them in their own time. So that's been a real encouragement. You know, we've kind of gelled together and we've worked on things together and I've enjoyed that as well, you know. Yeah, that's been part of the, the fun of working as a group. Um, and having people, the artists themselves there to guide us and inspire us, but then um, talking to each other as well and learning from each other and yeah, and encouraging people to see what others are doing and oh yes, well I can do that or I think I'll take that idea and go in this direction with it. People have gotten more com confident and more in tune with um, what's expected or the possibilities of the different work we've been doing. It gets ideas into your head that like, you know, I think I'd like to find something and do it at all myself. Um, I have done things at home just based on my own ideas, using the skills. Um, because it's based around photographs, anybody can take photographs and then do the mono printing or do the cut work from a photograph of any kind. When you kind of get into it, you want to finish it and do it more, and it's even when you're not doing it, it's, it's on your mind, and you're just looking at it in a different way. When you know with the paper cushions and the 3D, and it just um, brings it a bit more alive, I think. Yeah, well, I suppose they've got a bit more confident in what they're doing. I mean, we all started off not knowing anything at all. But, um, yeah, just, you, you have a bit more confidence, I suppose. You're a bit more aware of what, you, of what you can do. Not so much dependent on somebody giving you actual directions. Yeah, I think sometimes you think you can't do something and then once you get in, you know, think about it, you find you can, you're very well able to do it. It's a marvellous project. We've had the tutelage of two excellent artists working in different styles and, and mediums and uh, it's an opportunity I would not have got otherwise. It's great to be, I think, included in stuff because I think once you pass a certain age you, you tend to become invisible to a lot of people. I, I love filling the time that I now have with creative creative things. This is the icing on the cake. <laughs> Any, anything that's creative, because you just makes you feel so much better. It has the light hardness in it enough to, to have the... It has the potential to give
with people like me. Or just an interest in the cars they own it.